Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We're jumping in again for a regular run here, this time as good old Maggie. And of course, we are starting off with the sack room strat to see what we can reward ourselves with. Anything good off the start will be pretty nice here, so I am open to whatever the game gives me. Nice one, we got some extra HP here. We also got a golden penny, that's pretty good. It's pretty good going. Good, good. Another heart there. Oh, we got Nun's Habit. We like it. We like it. Could be pretty interesting for us. And then we'll go on with the Troll Bombs. They won't do too much to me. And I will quickly hibbity hop in and out of here. And one last time. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Pretty good start to a run. Nun's Habit, obviously not the best item, but two luck upgrades. Lots and lots of money to work with. I think that's a pretty reasonable start, um, as any Maggie should think. Honestly, the Maggie strat is just so fun. It's such a such a cool way to be able to like start a character like this. No, no. Oh, that was close. Okay. Don't like all of this little red creep, thank you. Let's see what our item room has in stock for us. Hey, we got another another thing that's gonna give us more red hearts here. The little old leech. The little old leech. How you doing, little buddy? And the shop today is gonna give us it's kind of tricky, honestly, because I, I think Spider Mod is better, but honestly, the blanket is going to help a lot, so I'm going to take that. We'll see if we can get Spider Mod as well, perhaps, uh, but potentially there's a, a good few things around that we can uh, utilize to, to capture enough money to go for both. Uh, secret room here, I'm not entirely sure on yet. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, what's something that you use on a regular basis that you don't think enough people use? Whether it be a tool or an app or just like a, a method of, like, I don't know, a method of existing, anything. What's something that you that you do pretty regularly that you think not enough people do? I think that could be kind of interesting to hear from you guys. Uh, right, but we are sitting pretty with our health right now. We're literally full health. Um, I'm very much... Oh, that was pretty stupid. But there you go. There's enough to get Spider Mod. I knew we'd get there. Um, and now I'm looking for um, Secret Room here. But I think I already know where it is. But good old Spider Mod as well. We got the ragtag group of fellas here. I think it's here. There you go, baby. There you go. Um, we get a little, little, little mushroom man here. Not much going on in here. Second Secret Room potential. We could take a look. Um, honestly, we've got enough soul hearts to where I think it's still worth doing this. Um, we got a trinket out of it. Reasonably good trinket. And we did get a teleport. Wow. Okay, we got Laura's water. We like it. Give me a hug. Thank you, thank you. Right, and I think we can do this. If I grab this and I'm quick, yes. Grab it and leave. Um, now we need a better active item, really, um, so we can take good use of Nun's Habit, because right now, not that important to us, is it? But Laura's Water here, really, really good. Basically, we stand ne uh, randomly, a rock will have this aura around it. We stand next to it, we gain damage and herming and all that sort of good stuff. We gain Squeezy off the back of this as well here. I can't remember what this does, but I'll blow it up. That was Perthra. Um... No, okay, let's go down to this floor, I think. I think this makes sense. But yeah, you can see how there's, like, randomly these. Again, stat boosts and, like, herming. Kind of like you would with a holy poop, but kind of a weaker version of it. Uh, it's, it's pretty goddamn good. It's pretty goddamn good. We've got Curse of Famine here. Ooh, great item there. Great item. Um, We have a nice little bombable bit here with some money behind it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that uh, Maria's statue. Bonus damage, but also more knockback, Um, depending on the enemy's... HP. Very, very nice. It can do some really wild things. And Spider Mod helps us to know when the enemies are getting to low HP. It's all working in tandem right now. I'm pretty sure that, that even applied the knockback there with my Leech, which is not, not what I was expecting, but interesting. Right, thank you, Leech. Not that we need the healing off of you, but I still appreciate your effort. Okay, also this aura does damage to things that are in it, which is nice. I didn't actually know that. But yeah, if you can, it's it's worth like sticking there. Ooh, that guy didn't didn't do what I thought he'd do. Um, I'm just gonna quickly check in here, see if it's worth grabbing an extra four cent. Ooh, it is. We got the birth certificate. Birth certificate, very 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 good. It can be bugged sometimes. The last few times I've tried it, it's been a bit bugged. So we'll see if it works. 
but I'd like to find out. Basically, it takes you to a room with every trinket in the game, and you can take one. It also smelts your current trinket. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty damn good, but um, the last few times I've been, it's just kind of teleported me to a room with nothing in it. So, we'll see what happens, if we even get enough money, that is. We might not. Okay, Leech, I need you to, to latch on. There you go. I know you won't stay on forever, but staying on for at least a little bit would be nice. The knockback here allows us to keep him in a perpetual state of uh, motion there when he's dashing. Look at that. That's really good, actually. Wow, that knockback is crazy good. So I can stop him from doing his main, main attack there. That's this. Put him into his next attack. This one's a little harder. Yeah, I kind of remembered him doing some sort of split shot there. We're doing good damage here. And he is pretty much dead. There you go. Right. Eye drops. Lovely. Honestly, with our health right now, Devil Deal makes so much sense. Um, we got going on here. Unfortunately, I think they're, they're teleport pennies. So I can't get whatever this is. Uh, Minos is good here. We'll take Minos. And I think this is a teleport penny. Yes, it is. Good, good layout. I like that. Um, but I took the penny because we wanted the penny. And then... Let's try and get a little bit more money for this bear certificate if we can. There's a little bit more. We are only two pennies off now. Come on, game. Don't, don't screw me this way. Good old Minos doing his little thing. We like him. He's a good lad. Key. We also got flight in this room. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a little look. See, So we don't have enough bombs to get in anywhere either, which is kind of a shame. We do have keys, though, which allows us to do this. I actually think this is very worthwhile to do right now. Because now we can go into the room down below and get the pennies out of there. It's going to cost us a few bombs, which is not ideal. But if the best certificate works and it's going to be good, I really hope it does work. Before we uh, before we bomb anything, though, let's see if we can get anything out of the poops. Doesn't look like it. There you go. Right. Hopefully, Beth's certificate works. It will definitely smell our current trinket at least, but I'm really hoping it allows us to go to the room and grab whatever we want. I actually don't know what trinket we would want here, uh, so this might take a little bit of uh, deliberating on what to do. Let's give it a go, shall we? It did indeed work good. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, the lag is real in here. Um, it's a little, it's a little bit of a shame that this is a watery room. Because I think it's lagging a lot more because of that. But let's kind of see what we want to grab here. So we probably want to pause and take stock. So, let's try and think of what we want here. So safety-wise, that golden penny, the heart one at the top right, is very good. That crutch is really nice. To, um, basically, any um, chance-based effect, luck-based effect, gain herming, which is really nice on our tiers. Um, we got Nurse Goblin, which is tried and true. Very, very good. Um, I kind of want to go for, like, a, a good modded one, though. I don't know what's, like, the best modded trinket out there. I'm not entirely sure. Is there anything we're seeing so far that's going to be amazing? Not really. Not really so far. We've got the Sigil of Baphomet as well, which is always good. Baby Bender, doesn't that does much for us right now. Let's 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 look at one of these a few of these top ones are doing here. Uh grants telekinesis for three seconds when entering a room. We've got this PhD one here. Stat down pills grant damage upper, that's kinda good. The mirror's pretty good too for more reflected items. I don't think we got any golden trinkets in here, unfortunately. I think it makes most sense to go for Nurse Goblin here. As you can see, this isn't literally every trinket, because um, I'm not seeing, like, cancer. Um, but I think Nurse Goblin makes the most sense here. Or we could go for Brain Worm. Brain Worm's, of course, very, very good. That's pretty much pseudo-herming. I think let's go for Brain Worm, yeah. There you go. And we gained a bunch of stats off of that for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. I think that was just giving us some of our stats back, actually. Good stuff. Okay. Right, we can get out of here now. 
Very nice. So we, we, we smelted the trinket we were currently holding off of the back of that. So the bat wing is now ours, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, brimworm, I think, is just a classic good one to take. Um, it's always going to be useful. Bit of pseudo herming. We like it. It helps us out quite a bit. Item room. Ooh, we got snake here. I think I will take snake, although almond milk would have been potentially more fun. Um, but snake is going to do stuff here. I don't know if snake will be affected by brainware, but now we've got two little snakes. Both from the same mod, actually. Both from something wicked. Um, they're both going to be diving around the room doing stuff. Now, that one, the, the one made of tears, is going to be doing some wild, sh some pretty wild stuff uh, because of the knockback on it. It's going to be kind of crazy. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, damn, very good trinket there, but we do not have space for it. It's a shame. We will come back for you, I guess, if we uh, have any way of doing so. Yeah, I always want to stay on our uh, Laura's Water uh, rocks. I think it also gives us protection. 50% chance to not take damage on taking a hit when you're in that radius as well. I'm not entirely sure on that last one, but I think so. Good, good. Lovely little key, thank you. No rocks in here, unfortunately. Wow, the, the damage that we do when we hit uh, in, initially with, uh, with our snake is pretty wild. Okay. You're gonna bust through the walls? There you go. Oh my god, the knockback. <laughs> There's nothing he could do. Bit of HP, kind of nice here to uh, facilitate our devil deal. Unfortunately, the devil deal is not very good. I will open this chest a few times though and see what we get. Nothing much. Unfortunate devil deal there for us. Didn't really get what we were looking for. We'll bomb this. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to go mother. Unfortunately, the snake is uh, just an absolute bastard when it comes to bombs. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. I've fallen straight down the trapdoor. Uh, that was obviously unintentional. I was trying to avoid the goddamn snake. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna waste another bomb here. Oh, actually, no. I can still, I can still go down this way. It doesn't matter. I'm stupid. I was gonna, I was gonna spawn myself the knife piece and just uh, waste a bomb and teleport myself to the floor. But I don't actually need to do that. I can still get there from here. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the snake is, uh, is very, very annoying that it still hits bombs. Right. Anyways, we've got some potential here for some good stuff. Um, each tier has a random effect in the current room. I like the idea of that. Stars removes Isaac's oldest item. <sighs> Spawning two items in the current pool. Okay, I'm down with this. I'm down with this. Right, secret room. I don't care too much about uh, Nun's habits, so... Uh... I like this active quite a lot. I think this might be secret room here. Do not dare. Thank you. Okay. We got ourselves Eye of Greed or the perfectly generic object. Um, the generic object is kind of interesting, but I'm, I'm, I'm liking this, this tablet book thing we've got here. So I guess I'm going to say the Eye of Greed. Oh, we get both. Okay. Um, what object does it spawn is the question. DA. I don't want a glass DA. I mean, glass spin down would be pretty awesome. But unfortunately, we got a little unlucky there. Yeah, I like my tears having random effects here. It's, it's very nice. We got a bit of flight in this room here. We'll probably be coming back to the shop, so let's take a little peek. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's just you. Okay. We're good to keep going here. Oh, it's always annoying when you have something that like gives and takes away flight. Because it makes you think you have flight all the time and you don't. This is beautiful. This is a great run we got going here. It's a great, great run. Item room, what will you provide? Something most beautiful I expect. Ah, Devil's Abacus. Not very good. Not very good. Don't ever make use of it, really. 
Right. Okay, so apparently my, my snake also gains random effects on it, which is pretty cool. I like that. So yeah, let's go this way. I don't know if I'm actually going to fight Mother here. I'm just kind of going this way. Because it's interesting. Down we go. Good items thus far. The Abacus, not exactly the most entertaining of items, but still. Although the Abacus with Snake seems to be doing some interesting stuff. Okay, and the bosses. That was a quick bosses, Gideon. It is. Good old Bacano go in there. Ah, oh, we destroyed the rock. I was trying to utilize that then, and it just I accidentally destroyed it with one of my tears. That's not what I wanted at all, game. Ow. Lost my holy mantle there. It's seemingly all okay here, though. We're keeping our money reasonably high, considering we're spending it all the time on different tier effects. I agree it's not the best item in the world, but it can be good. Unfortunately... Not exactly thrilled about that. Okay, item room. You must reveal yourself to me. <laughs> Minos is absolutely shitting on some of these enemies here. Yeah, don't throw your little explosive head, thank you. Thank you very much. God damn, my health has been so good this entire run as well. Health has been beautiful. I try to use this book whenever it's ready. It's kind of like having a fruitcake on demand. Clusters of rocks. Why not just spawn it in here? Hey, we got double tinted rocks here. Unfortunately, we can't. We don't have enough bombs for both of them. But we got all we needed. So who cares? That's all I was hoping for. Okay. And in the item room, we gain... Seed sack, which obviously I'm not that interested in. I'll go for whatever the random one is. A hey! Jelly Belly is some mighty good protection here. Very happy to have it. And our character is looking quite, quite something right now. They're looking something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but they're certainly looking somewhere. Right. Let's move. Okay, I think we're just going to carry on on the regular path now, to be honest. We, we, we mix it up sometimes. We go here, we go there. We don't have to stick to it. Good, good. I love the fact that the Laura's water um, thingy, um, it, it like hurts enemies that are in its radius. Because sometimes an enemy will just spawn in its radius and die when the room starts, which is... Very convenient. Also, the knockback right now is uh, doing some things. Oh, hello. I didn't expect you to do that. <laughs> yeah, the knockback right now is uh, not something I can really keep a, a good handle on. Right. Unfortunately, spin to win. Not what we're looking for. Good. Shop, of course, we will go and check out. Black Candle's kind of interesting one. I like it. Overall. Negative curses. Oh, that was just stupid of me. That was just stupid, but our health is absolutely fine, so I'm not particularly worried. Okay, straight on through. Thank you. Honestly, my little my little friends here are doing more damage than I am for the most part. Because the knockback and stuff just means that they're, like, handling everything on their own. I barely get a chance to get a word in edgeways here. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Infested? Infested pill doesn't do much for us here, of course. Okay. Back we go. I'm not sure what the, uh, the curse of the stone that we've got on right now does. Ah, oh, I used my accident of room with nothing in it. Stupid. Well, that was a quick room. Wasn't expecting that. OK. 
Okay. I like the little godhead tears we're seeing here. How many more of these little fellas we got going on? See, this is why spider mod's pretty useful. You can see where all the locations are a little easier here. I'm sure leave them to do their thing. Nice, nice. This seems like it's the right direction to be going. We're only on 15 minutes so far, so I will take a full card. In case we find our, uh, we find our boss a little early. Chill, chill. There's our boss. Laura's water doing great stuff for us there. Bit more money, lovely. We'll do this now. Oh, beautiful. We froze in Midas Touch and then annihilated her. We like it. Devil deal. Ooh, yes, please. And honestly, the, I, I will take that as well, to be honest. The speed is very nice. The flight is even better. Oh my god, my snake now is uh, doing some wild things. Doing some wild things. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be taking the good old axe and then getting out of there. But I think that concludes our, uh, our mission on this floor, to be honest. I think we're good to go. Unfortunately... A trinket that gives us flight on occasion is now pretty obsolete. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Oh. Yeah, this um This this week we have my, my girlfriend's my girlfriend. I keep I keep saying my girlfriend. My fiance. My she is my fiance, not my girlfriend. I'll it's it's gonna take me a while to get used to that, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Anyways, my fiance's parents are um aww. Just please. Please. Oh my god, this is such a good item. Um such a good trinket even. Okay, I'll take I'll keep I'll keep on with this. Um yeah, they're gonna come down for a few days this week, so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna get it to, but it's for her mum's birthday, so it should be a pretty good time. Uh, I'm gonna be going around uh, where I live, going into the city and getting some food, I think, which is quite nice. There's a place um that we've got it, it like planned to suggest. This uh, Indian we've been to that is just very, very, very good. So I'm excited to go there um, and introduce them to that because I think they'll quite enjoy it. And uh, like the fact that I get to eat it too is a is a pretty big bonus. I gotta say it's a pretty big bonus on top of everything. <laughs> I actually ended up going to. I, th I think I mentioned it in a previous episode. I ended up going to a concert last night um, for. My my friend's boyfriend is in um is in a band and he was doing like a battle of the bands sort of thing um for his like heavy metal band and they actually ended up winning which means now they get to play um at uh, Bloodstock which is like a big festival in the UK um which is pretty wild man like that's, it's kind of crazy that they managed to uh they managed to get that like I, I, I like I, I definitely believe they could win. They're very, very, very good. But it's just kind of still crazy to think that they did. Um, so yeah, it's 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 kind of mental that they've got something as huge as that going on. Like that that that's been like his dream since he started doing music is to play at like a festival like that. That's like a festival that he, that he personally goes to like every single year, and now he actually gets to go and be one of the musicians there, which is yeah, it, it's just kind of nuts. And it'll be to obviously an absolutely massive crowd like bigger than they've ever played to before so it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty huge but it was really cool to see them play and uh see them win as well and then we went to the 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 gin bar for for a gin which was very very nice and then despite despite the fact that we're trying to eat healthily we decided to get takeaway the moment we got home i don't know why but like whenever i go out and have a drink even if, like, I, I wasn't drunk. I had, like, three drinks. Even if I'm not drunk, I just feel, com I'm compelled to eat takeaway. It just, it, it, it just, it's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> it's the only constant on this planet. If you go out on a night out, or if you go drinking at all, you will end up getting takeaway. This is the way. Right, careful you. Beautiful stuff. Meat. Little Larium. Meat is good, but I wanted to see what we'd get without waiting for a couple of flaws here. 
Curse of the Imp we've got this time, apparently. Now, one thing I'm noticing is our damage isn't actually that spectacular right now. We're not killing stuff that quickly. We could definitely do with a little bit more damage. Okay, you are you finally ready to die? That yeah, you are. Good. Uh, the fact that we can freeze the bosses, though, that's, that's very convenient. I'm holding on to this soul of forgotten here in case we find a sack room that we can uh, take advantage of. Little half soul heart there. Definitely doesn't hurt anything. Like, rooms like this, when it's just basic enemies, we absolutely stomp. But the bosses are definitely taking a little bit longer than I'd prefer them to. Not much longer. Just a little bit longer. I don't know wh which way I'm going here, but it's almost always through the big room. But I'm going to try this way. I think I could just, like, leave most rooms to their own devices and <laughs> they'll get sorted out. Ooh, hello. A little playing deck here. Can I touch it, please? Thank you. Wow, two. Wow, we got just all keys. Everything was keys here. That was weird. <laughs> what a weird coincidence. That everything there was key based and two of them were even the exact same. There's so many cards. So many playing cards it could have been. I had to choose them. I'm not bothered about Ferryman right now, thank you. As much as he is good. He is takes a bit too long and I am in the final stretches. Once you're, once you're at the womb, the run's basically already over. Okay, we're not going to kill this guy super quick this time. We can maybe Midas him. Nah, I was really hoping we could get him there, but sadly not. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're golden. Right, there you go. And we did take Polaroid here, so we're going up. Devil Deal once again, although we only have Soul Hearts this time. Okay, I'm probably quite thankful that this was you. God damn, the knockback is not making things easy right now. Unfortunately, Head of Krampus isn't what we're looking for right now. But we do get to go to the floor, the only one without a curse, which is nice. I think. Yeah, no curse. Lovely. Right. Ah, the Lauras water didn't protect me. Neither did Belly Jelly. Come on now. They've got to protect me. It's the whole point of you being an item that exists. Okay. Of course we've got to deal with these guys now. Ah, wrong way. We're going to stumbling into the into the mini boss here, aren't we? I just I can feel it. Although the mini boss could be good, we could end up getting some good stuff out of it. You never know. Okay, you're going to be a pain because you're going to just create fires literally everywhere. Okay, we got through him. Oh, the Psy Hunter. Yes, this thing can do some damage. Every time I get this guy, especially if I get him early on in a run, he can last like a floor or two. There you go. I knew we were going to run into this guy. Luckily, we do have good damage, so he shouldn't be that big of a problem. But my, my main worry is how much I'm going to end up getting hit. And we got a soul heart back off of him, so not the best of results. God damn, the game just keeps throwing money at us. What am I to do with this money? What am I to do with it, game? What do you propose I use it on? Beautiful. Oh god, calm down. Okay, good. Hey, we can actually escape while we're in the circle there. Nice. Yeah, my pennies. Thank you. Knock back. <laughs> You're not touching that penny, sir. You're not touching that penny. Hey, Soul of Forgotten's going to come in handy here. Literally the only thing Soul of Forgotten is ever good for. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Too spooky. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Soul Forgotten is a beautiful, beautiful beast. 
I should really go and pick that trinket up just in case it gets sucked up by amalgamation. You never know. Sadly not. 50% chance for any trinket to be uh, to be smelted to us with the uh, amalgamation trinket on. Fills the entire room with red poops. That seems awful. <laughs> I don't know why I'd want that, but that seems funny. I'm going to use it against Blue Baby. And see if I can survive. It seems wild to me, but give it a go. We're doing pretty good damage against this guy. And of course, we always get a Holy Mantle um, for every boss fight. Which is very, very nice. Very welcoming. Unfortunately, the lower this HP gets, the more he's going to be moving around. Which makes our life more difficult <laughs> by quite a bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's basically corner combat here. We always just somehow force him into a corner. Right, see what items we have. And then, yeah, Apocalypse on Blue Baby. It seems bad. It seems like not a good idea. But um, I, am, I am ready to take it on. Right, let's hope we can just actually find the boss with reasonable speed here. We got Tool here, which is really nice, because all these spiders are going to take damage at the same time. Tool just makes it so that every enemy of the same type takes damage at the same time. It's rather nice. Now, I have no idea which way I'm going or where I'm supposed to be going here, so... Forgive me if I uh, take a few wrong turns. Okay, that's one of you down. Tool actually did a good job of dealing some damage to this guy, to be honest, so... He's going down pretty swiftly, too. If you'd like to chill, my guy you'd like to chill. That would be perfectly reasonable. Okay, sadly, we have not gone the right way thus far. But, we shouldn't be far off. God damn, the amount of pennies we're getting. The amount of pennies. I should have known this wasn't the right way as well, but I took a risk. Okay, these, these two are joined together. Their HP is shared. Ooh, hello. I could be persuaded. Ooh, we got the golden shovel here. Um, once two golden chests and a random golden pickup. Opens a member card trap door if you use a decorative tile. Well, this is pretty good. I don't know how good it is really because of our charge uh, like situation. We don't have a great way to charge it. But I'm willing to give this a go. I'm willing to try it out. Right, let's keep going. I do love me some Play-Doh cookie. I'll somewhat replace that other active item doing random tier effects as well. But yeah, anything that's going to give us chests is very, very good on this floor. Oh, I took a gamble with worship. It was not worth it. I took two hearts of damage there. I had to try. You know me, I had to try. But we are nearly there. The red poop apocalypse shall begin shortly. You see how everything's just taking damage at the same time here? It's very, very good. A little item here for us. Number one. Our range is actually pretty good. I don't mind taking number one here. We had a pretty good amount of fire out of that. Okay, interesting. Money equals power, it's something. Here we go. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> yep. There's only one tile where it doesn't... <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.